Uh, can you tell us how you've been, you know, keeping uh, fit and yeah. keeping on the ball with so much uh, intensity in terms of walkabouts and everything? I mean, everyone is out and about. So what is your secret to keeping right. energized? You're right. We are, we are out from 7 all the way to 11 every day. So uh, I think I think for me, I think I've been constantly exercising and keeping fit. Uh, you know, I, I swim, I jog, and I do various uh, sports. So I think uh, I'm relying on that reserves or so to speak the regular exercise which I've been doing regularly. So I think uh, so I, I I'm fr- I mean frankly I'm still keeping fit, and uh, actually in fact with the with the block visits where we run up and down you know because particularly in in Yishun, Nishun East uh, which this ward which I'm uh, uh, contesting in, um, it's a very big estate. It has about 180 blocks. So daily we have to cover many many blocks. I mean I've been I've been starting doing this uh, since I was introduced uh, in fourth of April. Uh, so I think we, I've built on the momentum that I've been started that started right from fifth uh, uh, April all the way till now. Yeah. And I understand for this ward you have uh, a local manifesto yes. that has been worked out. So can you share with us more? I also understand that there's a uh, five C's that yes. you're uh, planning to push for. Yeah, I think. Uh, the five C's include community. I think, in essence, uh, to summarize, C, first C, community, to build greater bonds uh, within the community itself. Uh, in fact, one of the, the plans also is to upgrade the community centre. Currently, the community centre or community club is, uh, is, is of age. So it's, uh, I plan, ho- I hope, within the next five years to, to refurbish and also to refresh and revitalise the community centre, to have more activities as well as to bring residents and the people in living Yishun together. Uh, next to connect, I think connecting uh, there are there are a few things: the physically connect as well as virtually connect. Physically connecting in terms of the transportation system. Hopefully, with new uh, BTO projects sprouting, we hope to better connect the the whole Yishun area, and also virtually connect. We have our web pages, we have Facebook pages, and I, I hope to connect the residents and the, the people living in Nisun East in particular uh, better. And of course, see the cultivate. Another C to cultivate, cultivate new volunteers. I think we have residents, as I do my blog visits, I notice quite a number of young people, people of different ages, willing to come forward and, and actually uh, expressing their interest to, to participate in grassroots work and volunteer work. And, uh, and I think that, that's one key thing we want to do. Cultivate, bring in new volunteers, bring in new activists, and at the same time also to, to upgrade them and, uh, and let them take on leadership positions within the community. And then uh, the, the other C, of course, uh, will be the complete. Uh, as you know, we have uh, quite a number of uh, upgrading projects. Uh, number, quite a number of the precincts or the various blocks have been selected for home improvement program, lift upgrading program, and, and, the, and the neighborhood renewal program. So the next thing is for me to do is to, 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 to drive these programs to make sure they complete on time so that they'll meet our residents' needs so that we can have a, a more vibrant, uh, and a nicer neighbourhood within uh, Nisun East. And so far you've been going around the blocks and uh, as your first election, uh, what's the reception been so far? What's your sense of it? I think uh, Professor Ho has, has been a member of parliament here for 20 years, so he has gathered quite a bit of goodwill. So as I go around, I think uh, many of residents still speak fondly of him. Likewise, they also uh, welcome me as a new fresh face I mean, they, uh, many of them have read about me. So when they see me, they say, oh, I've watched you on TV, I read you in the newspapers, I read the manifestos and, and, and the various collaterals. So I think, uh, and, I, and I've also been visiting the markets and the coffee shops. So quite a number of residents actually know about me and, in fact, know quite a bit about me and, uh, and how I've been serving in the grassroots in Bedok and, and other, and, and in the branch, etc. So I think I, I've, the, the reception overall has been very warm and I'm, I'm quite, quite thankful for the goodwill which... Uh, which uh, Professor Ho has passed on to me. I think he has also made a, a very uh, strong attempt to, to introduce me to the residents and to the various uh, groups of people in, in Nisun East. Yeah. Since you mentioned Professor Ho, um, it, you're taking over him for this ward, right? Yes. And uh, would you look up to him as a mentor? And if so, what is one thing that he's taught you? I think Pro- Professor Ho has... Uh, one, one key thing which he has taught me uh, within uh, in, 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 in this looking up in his 20 years of looking after this estate is that not just build the infrastructure 
the, the hard facilities but build the softer bits of it and let the people feel that you know they, li- they love Nisun East and that this is their home this is where their families their children will grow up in and this is where they will grow old in I think that's that that, that spirit that, uh, that he has nurtured through all these years serving in Nisun East I think that's one thing which I'm learning from him to, uh, to carry on his good work and to really also continue his nurturing process so that the people who shift in here like you said I said quite a number of BTO projects are going to sprout in particularly in Nishun area but, and also particularly in Nisunis. so I hope the residents and the children who grew up here will also love Nisunis and, uh, and grow up and grow old uh, together with me here